All right, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Friday, November 18th, 2011. We're going to go over the uh, the trades that we took this morning in the live trading room, and the trades we didn't take, um, the profit, and all that stuff. All right, um, let's start right out with the profit so everybody can see it, and then I can, I can put this behind. Um, we had 24 ticks profit this morning, three contracts, two points. We got that pretty early on in the first in the first half hour anyway um, here it was right there that was our first trade of the day right here it was uh, we pulled away from the BBC the BBC was clearly down below the uh, the elbow um, we had a fresh bubble right here it pulled back up to the BBC then went down and gave us our two points right there um, that was how we started the day and that right there guys for anybody looking for uh, for anybody looking for two points a day, you were done this day uh, by 9.42, 9.43. Um, now, that said, the next trade, uh, we took the trade, and I wasn't paying attention. It gave six ticks profit. I should have moved my stop up to break even on it, but I didn't. Um, and I ended up taking a four tick loss. I did have an opportunity to get out break even here, too. But I, at that point, I had moved my stop down to one point, and I was thinking if we broke down below here, I was looking at the 10K, larger time frame, and I was thinking if we broke down below here, we were going to run. So I was I was thinking I was going to risk one point for a bigger gain. All right. Um, now, as the market moved along, um, partners in the room this morning were thinking this was a George trade, but because of this little space right here, you see if I move my cursor over and I put it on top of these two bars surrounding that one, you can see there's a little space right there. That disqualified the George trade right here. So there was no trade there. Um, you know, price moved along here. Something happened right here. We had a short trade here. This was a regular CFRN short trade. It was outside the box. And that one just reversed on us quickly, went right to our right to our stop, um, and then dropped down to our profit target. Um, after that, I didn't I think I didn't want to take any trades in here. This was a this was another George trade right here. I didn't want to take any trades in here because we were inside the box and it was chopping around quite a bit and the market was actually really choppy. You can see right here it stopped us out again on this one which came outside the box. Uh, we never had a chance on that one. It just completely reversed on us and stopped us out. And the market ran all the way up here to the top of our box. Um, it pulled back now we didn't take this because this was just one big long bubble down here that was used way over here. So we didn't have an opportunity in there. Okay. Now at this point right here, looking at these tops right here, there was an argument to buy if it broke through those tops. Um, we didn't. We stayed out of it. Uh, we did have a trade right in here that set up. What time was this? This was 11 o'clock. This set up and um, from 19 and a half up to 21 and a half, it did go the full two points, but we missed that trade. All right, um, it turned around over here. This, uh, this over here was was a George trade. I missed this one too. I guess I must have missed that one. Oh no, it wasn't. It didn't pull back up to the. This is it. I was trying to enter that one right here. Um, but when it didn't go into the BBC right here, and then it put in this this blank area right here. That disqualified it from the uh, from the George criteria. Um, after that, this was during the break. There was a winning trade right here. Um, it pulled up right here with a fresh bubble, made at least two points, put in a lower swing right here, pulled up here for another trade opportunity, for another two points. There was a fresh bubble right there on that one, um, <clears throat> for another two points. This one right here was disqualified right here because of the space. All right. Um, as it moved down here, this one, we needed a fresh bubble on it, so it wasn't a valid trade. And that brings us to where we are. That was on the 4-tick range chart. All right, now let's just jump over here and look at the 10K a little bit. Okay, I don't, I don't think we took any trades off the 10K this morning, though we did watch it quite a bit. Um, there was one trade here after we had the bearish, the bearish cross right here with the cycle up here and the pierce of the envelope down here. Um, we were looking for a five to six point move down. I think we got four points on that move. Well, we didn't take four points. I think there was a four point move down after the pierce of the envelope. Um, oops, sorry about that. 
you can see right now price is really falling off here. Um, at the end of the at the end of the morning the morning session um, in the live trading room, I want to give Dwayne some kudos here because he was saying we were trading right up in here, and uh, we had a bearish cross, a pullback up to the BBC, and Dwayne was saying he thought that a sell down here. I think he was saying at the time we were actually over here. I think he was saying at the time that he would he would consider selling 15 half or 15 quarter after it broke down through this level, and. Well, you can see the result from there. Okay, um, we didn't take any trades off the 10 tick range. I mean, off the 10,000 contract this morning. All right. Now let me jump over here for a minute. And as soon as the 2100 tick loads, we'll show you the 2100 tick. There it goes. All right. Now there were a couple of trades this morning on the 2100 tick. I don't think I took any of them though. Um, you know, I was I was busy enough without taking these trades, uh, but I'll just point them out. These are my guard trades, okay. Um, now you see the brown arrows in there. Oops, those brown arrows in there are the trades. All right, right here, the price pulled back up to the BBC after the bearish cross. We got a lower swing. The cycle was below the 50 level for the shorts. Okay, we didn't get a lower swing over here when it tried to pull back, so no trade in there. Then right in here, the cycle was above the 50 level after the bullish cross, so right in there would have been an opportunity to try to go long. That one I don't think, did that give the full two points? I don't think it did. It didn't give the full two points, so that one probably would have lost. Um, going to continue scrolling over here if it lets me. There we go. We needed to get back down below the level here and it pulled back up right here. That one right there would have been a losing trade. This one right here would have been a winning trade, but the but the cycle is not below the 50 level. Now I'm just scrolling through. This is one of the partners trade setups that he likes to trade and I know some of the guys, some of the partners follow it. So I was just I'm just going to show you guys um, show you guys what he does. All right. Uh, there was no pullback here. It wasn't pulled back far enough. There was one over here. Um, and then that one would have given some profit. I don't know if he would have moved his stop, but it turned around. And actually right in here, yeah, right there where it crossed. Now, if you if it pulls back to the BBC just as it's crossing the 50 level, those usually turn out to be pretty good, uh, pretty good trades, pretty long trades. You can see that one was up there at 18 or 17 and a half, something like that. Um, and that... I think brings us yeah, brings us pretty much current. There was another opportunity right in here and another one right in here. We didn't put in a lower swing here, so we wouldn't have been looking to go short from that one. All right. Um, one other thing that I think we did here this morning, I'm gonna point it out if I can get onto my seven minute here. What time is it? Twelve twenty-eight. Two minutes left. I'll be quick with the YM. Um, we did take some YM trades this morning, and we made some profit on the YM. Um, but it was in the training portion. You know, and the uh, the goal, as as we did all week this week, the goal is to get in to get into the uh, morning session, make two points right away, and then switch gears into more of a training mode than a you know, than a trading mode. Though we're still trading, we're trying to train as much as we can. That way, all the partners that get in there, that are in there just to make a couple points a day. You know, if they're getting in there to follow me and make a couple points a day, then they get it done early. Um, all right, so right here, we had to pull back to the line in the sand. All right, these huge wicks at the top of the line in the sand speak volumes. We went over that in the partners meeting last night. How these huge wicks at certain times are more meaningful. Um, again, you had to be a partner to see it. Uh, but that right there speaks volumes. Okay. Um, now let's jump over here to the YM, and then we will wrap it up. All right. Now this was this was the start of the day. I missed this trade over here on the YM. We had a bearish cross with a pullback up to the BBC. I missed this trade because I was in the ES trade. I wasn't paying attention to the YM. But then the ES trade finished and made our profit, and 
we had a divergence trade set up over here. The way the divergence trades work is when you have divergence on this indicator by itself, all by itself, you get divergence. You get a close down below the MA1. For me, if I can enter the trade and have my risk be on the other side of the MA1 within my risk tolerance, then I like that trade. And I got into it and I took, it, it made about 15 points. I think I took nine out of that because I had moved my stop up. Um, but it made about 15 points. Okay. Um, let's see. The next, the next opportunity. We had a bullish cross right here with a pullback down to the BBC. I didn't see this one, and this was a big, a high momentum bar right here, right at the uh, news event. So I didn't trade anything right in here. I didn't trade anything, anything in here in this whole area right here. But that filled the window of opportunity from the BBC up to the MA1. The MA1 held the price and pushed it back down. Okay. Then we had a bearish cross. Once we had the bearish cross, we were looking for a pullback up over here. We got the pullback up right to the BBC. Again, the orange arrow means I didn't actually take the trade. Um, but it was a, it was a great trade. It went down. It dropped you know a, a good I don't know, 20 points, I think, at least. Um, and then we waited and waited, and we had a bullish cross right here. You see how how steep this was, the angle on the MA1. That made this trade over here kind of a I don't know, I wasn't I wasn't nervous about it when I was in it, but the way that this was sloping down when I was taking the trade made me wonder if this trade was gonna work. Um anyway the the window of opportunity when I was in the trade was up here. I entered down here and I entered aggressively. I got in at eight hundred and the BBC for me was at 796, I think. So I entered aggressively because I had missed the actual pullback to the BBC. That had happened, and I entered in right about here. Um, that gave me 10 ticks profit as well. And once it gave me 10 ticks profit, I moved my stop up to break even, and it ended up coming down to get me out of break even. Um, I was looking for it to get up here to the MA1, but it never went all the way back up to the MA1 there on that move. And you can see we had the bearish cross here, and once we had the bearish cross, the first pullback up right here, this was during the break, worked out wonderfully, and that's it. That brings us to where we are now. All right, um, before I shut off the uh, before I shut off the recording, I want to just check and see if anybody has any questions, um, so I can answer the questions in the recording. So you guys will have it on the on the thing. Um, okay, Jason was just making a point that on the four tick range, the best four tick trades today all had divergence. Same divergence down here. Um, he says they seem to all work. I believe you if you say that. Um, I don't know off the top of my head. This right here is a George trade, though. I know that. It's actually not right now because it's got a pullback into the BBC, so you would have to get down to 1220, uh, 1212 even, I think 1212, well 1212 and a quarter right now, um, would trade into it, but I'm not doing that right now, I just want to, uh, want to give everyone opportunity, and if they don't, then I'm just going to shut it down, because it is 1233 and David is waiting. <laughs>